and, and I'm so proud of him now that what he has built, you know, as far as his site and what he's doing, you know, holding cool podcast. Man. I love holding man. court, man. Shout out. Man, he's uh he's grown tremendously. Into film now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you about uh when y'all connected with Big Court and he being from down in Kansas City. Like mm -hmm. like how was that? And just give me a spiel on it. Uh yeah, being yeah. Ben, he told me his side of it when he was on the show. Mm -hmm. During my hustle days, I was never really a born to lose ass nigga. Like I always still kind of had, I knew it was something more for me. Yeah. I didn't know exactly what, but I did have the dream of music. And see, I signed with P. I got with No Limit in 95. Yeah. So I graduated high school in 94. Whoa. Mm, that you know was what I mean? You were what, 18? Wait yeah, a minute. I was 18. Five. What song? What rap? What, what, what was P? Uh, what was he doing? No, that was right. That was I signed with P right when 99 Ways to Die came out in TRU, the first true record. Yeah. And right before Ice Cream Man. Mm -hmm. But I want to know from your perspective how all of it happened. You know, cool young gangster. You know, <laughs> he was up. on Down South Hustler, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He come up there slinging and banging, you know, from a young kid from coming out of his town, you know, doing it the way they did it, you know, laying it down. And uh, thorough cat, you know, and I met Court through P. Yeah. And they had had relationships before I knew Court. Okay. But once we connected, you know, brother from another mother, you know, highly intelligent brother. Yeah. You know, uh, know a lot of things and open to new things, you know. Yeah. Always want to learn, you know, always hungry, always trying to get at it. And, and I'm so proud of him now that what he has built, you know, for as his site and what he's doing, you know, holding cool podcast. Man. Well, I love holding man. court, man. Shout out. Man, he's... Uh, He's grown tremendously. Into film now, too. I saw well, he, that. No, he been in the film. Court, okay. Court, yeah, he did tell us you, that. If you check court history, court made a movie years ago, independent on his own, spent mm. his own money, kind of like we did with I'm About It. That's mm. one when Cat Williams was in it, right? Yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So check him out. He been out there doing that. This, this is nothing new for him. You know, he been doing these things. That's hard. It's just that people haven't been, you know, up on him or knowing about him and what he's done. Right. You know, because like, he like us, out the street. Out you the know, street. Out street pause and young, yep, yep. you know, but start trying to do other things to build another, you know, life for him and his family. And his family. And that's what he's doing now. And now, where he has progressed to and the things that he done, man, it's it's uh, it's, it's beautiful. You yeah, know, it is. Like, like my brother from another mother. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.